In this video, you will understand how to make a correspondence table. A correspondence table is a file that explains how to switch from the local accounts plan of an entity to the consolidation account plan. When you have finished setting up your correspondence table, you will need to import it into Opera. Here is an example of a correspondence table. Column A corresponds to the consolidation account. This is the destination. Note that in the standard setting, the letter A corresponds to the asset accounts. The letter P corresponds to the liabilities accounts. The letter R corresponds to the accounts of the income statement. Columns D and E correspond to your local accounts. These two columns create ranges. Column D is the first count in the range. And column E corresponds to the last count in the range. The B column is used to condition the import of the data, depending on the sign of the account. The T allows to import all amounts regardless of the sign. The plus only passes the positive amounts. The minus only passes negative accounts. Column C multiplies by 1 or minus 1 the amounts, so as to find the divider amounts in positives, and the predator amounts in negative. Now let us take a few examples. All accounts, with numbers between 2100 and 21199, will be imported in the A21100 consolidation account, regardless of the direction of the amount. Another example P42100 receivables. The sign is negative. So only the negative amount i.e. creditor, will be imported within P41200 account. And these amounts will be multiplied by minus 1. Because in Opera the account's liabilities are positive, just like asset accounts except for asset impairments. Another example with load accounts. For all charges accounts, Opera takes the amounts without making any tests on the sign. Opera then multiplies all the amounts that are in principal debtors in positive sign by minus 1. In this way, Opera saves the charges in negative. Other examples with income accounts. The accounts resulting from the balance are creditors therefore negative. Opera multiplies accounts by minus 1 so as to find them positive. On the other hand, that you do not have necessarily to make ranges of accounts. To make one for one, you will need to mention the same account number in column D as in column E. Know that Opera also allows you to make ranges with letters. Example, 708 and 708 D. Other advice. When you make changes in your correspondence table, I advise you to post your modifications by colors and possibly with comments. You can also keep all your previous correspondence tables in your Opera database. So, if your correspondence table is exact, you can now import it into Opera. I advise you to watch the video, How to Import Your Data into Opera when needed. Thank you for your attention. See you soon on Amilkis Opera channel.